It's been described as one of the world's biggest civil engineering projects, creating 8,000 square meters of new land every day. The three and a half kilometer long construction behind me has been dubbed the Great Wall of Lagos, and it's just one of the reasons why. The Eco Atlantic City project has been developed to meet two of the needs of Lagos State's Victoria Island space creation and vital protection from the ever encroaching shoreline. Now, as the project reaches its halfway stage, we find out what this milestone means to the development and what to expect next. Work on Eco Atlantic has now created an impressive 5 million square meters of land that had been lost to over 100 years of coastal erosion, with approximately another 5 million square meters to go until the expanse of the project is completed. Although still underway, Eco Atlantic is already viewed as a success, highlighting the benefits of public-private partnerships. Phase 1 infrastructure development like roads and drainages are now underway. Eco Atlantic's executive chairman, Ronald Shagri, is one of the visionaries behind the new city for Lagos, which is privately funded and fully supported by the federal and state governments. He shared with us the legacy that he expects Eco Atlantic will leave on Lagos State. We pray it will be the future financial city of Africa, economical and financial city of Africa. That will be, we believe will be the legacy. Let's say by July, August this year, you can drive on the street, you, can, you have your uh, street lighting, you have your water uh, available, and uh, by, by the end of the year you have your sewage uh, operational, everything. By mid-2013, Eco Atlantic will be ready to see real infrastructure in place, having laid an adequate foundation for drainage, lighting and streets. This is good news for investors who are ready to begin building up the megacity. Orlean Invest is one such company. They have acquired about 400,000 square meters of Eco Atlantic land, which they plan to develop extensively for oil and gas industry residential requirements. The initial part is to develop, as I said, our residential complex, 400,000 square meters, then a business district for offices, for banking, finance, oil and gas, an international hospital, there will be a clinic inside the state as well, an international school, and a, a, a marina, and a, let's call a shopping mall, a eco shopping mall. That's the start, which is... Uh, basically where we are now, up to Victoria Island. In the next three to four months, this expanse of land will be cleared and the makings of sturdy foundations will be seen. The Eco Atlantic City project has been described by many as a potential investment haven. We caught up with a few key industry players to get their thoughts on what role the city will play in the Lagos economy. It's a statement located within a position within the African continent at the Gulf of Guinea, making a statement of the connection of the largest concentration of black people, saying to the entire economy of the African continent that here the best is, 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 is expressed, giving accommodation to strong financial institutions, institutions of leadership that connect trade and commerce, both in Africa as well as in the entire world. For sure, uh, this, you know, will be uh, a landmark, you know, I mean, it is already a landmark because five million square uh, meters is not, it's, it's not a joke, it's a whole city. So it's going to really create a new city, new jobs, new opportunities, you know, and uh, massive jobs. When completed, the new city will become home to 250,000 people and another 150,000 commuters. The blend of both commercial and residential planning shows that the project will create a 21st century city that is not only well built, but well organized, sustainable and successful. I'm Keisha Gitari from the Eco Atlantic City Project here in Lagos.